Part 3 of Building the Ultimate AI Agent for My Students Today, I'm going to be covering the seamless handoff, how to do live call transfer, and SMS confirmation. Let's go ahead and get started by going over to NADEN. Now, from our last session, you know that this is going to be what the NADEN workflow looks like. And as you can see from here, currently, when we're booking the appointment, we're going straight to a VAPI webhook that sends the confirmation back to the AI agent immediately without sending SMS confirmation. So what we can do is between these two steps, we can actually add a node in order to send an SMS text confirmation to the client. All right, so go ahead and hover your mouse over this line here. And that's going to allow you to add a new node in between. So click on the plus sign. We're going to search for the Twilio node. And we're going to send an SMS message. So click on this one. All right, so once you're on here, it's going to ask you to set up a new credential. So I've already done a tutorial on this. So I'm going to link to that over here. All right, next we're going to send an SMS and the operation is going to be send. And the from number is just going to be your phone number from your Twilio dashboard. And this will only work once you get it verified. So make sure you do get it verified using the tutorial. So it's just going to be whatever your phone number is. Okay. All right. So the two node is going to be the information that's coming from the VAPI AI voice agent. And I've already gotten that over here. So go ahead and download it from my school community. It's going to be called Twilio send SMS to code. So open that up. It's just going to be this really simple stuff. So it's basically saying from the VAPI webhook, we're going to find the customer number. You just place that in as you can see it's green saying that this is the correct phone number okay now after that we're going to need to say what the sms message actually needs to be and so what i'm using for that is something that looks like this so go ahead and download the twilio message code json file it's going to look something like this i'll show you so uh, it's going to say hi name so anthony in this case your consultation where's that saying so your service name so in this case my service name is consultation with the owner name so the clinic staff is confirmed for in this case the book appointment start time is going to be thursday august 4th at 1 p.m see you then so again this is just some code that ultimately will result in basically what you want to be sending to your client and as you can see it works perfectly so that's completely done let's go ahead and hit save to save that all right so we just covered SMS confirmation. Only thing left to do is talk about live call transfer. So how do we do that? Go ahead and go back over to the VAPI assistant. Now, this assistant is basically what we've been using in the previous two parts. Now, what I do want to do is I want to go to the model and actually change it to GPT-5 mini because I've done some more testing and that seems to be by far the best model so far. So we're going to go and go ahead and do that. Cool. And then Go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Everything else is the same. Tools looking good. Perfect. Now, for the live call transfer function, it's actually really simple. It's already predefined. So go ahead and click on predefined functions. We've pre built functions for common use cases. You can enable them and configure them below. So, as you can probably imagine, this function is very popular. So, VAPI has already built it for us. And all we need to do is basically just hit a button. Okay. So click on that and it says enable end call function or dial keypad. Now we're not going to use any of these for now. So we're just going to skip that. What we are interested in is this section called forwarding phone number. And if you hover over here, it'll just tell you exactly what it is. This phone number will be used to transfer call from the assistant. So basically what it's saying is we just enter in a phone number that we want to basically give it in order to call it. And then we need to change the assistant prompt just a little bit saying okay well if you encounter a question that you can that you can't answer or if the client asks to speak to a human then go ahead and use the forwarding phone number tool and go ahead and forward that phone number so i'm going to go ahead and enter the number here so all right so once you've entered that number go ahead and go back up to the system prompt because we're just going to have to do a little bit of editing to make sure that our agent knows how to use this tool in order to transfer the call the easiest way to do that is honestly by using AI. So go ahead and go to your favorite AI. I'm going to go to Google AI Studio. 
uh, I like to change the temperature to 0 0.4 and I'm going to say something like I am working on the transfer call function for my VAPI AI voice agent. I just enabled the forwarding phone number predefined function in the VAPI dashboard. Also, I have given it the phone number that I want to transfer calls to. Now, I need your help to update the system prompt so that the agent knows how to use the transfer call function properly. Keep everything else the same as much as possible. Here is my current system prompt. Triple check for accuracy. So as you know, I just like to write a really nice prompt and also tell it to triple check it for accuracy just to make sure that it's 100% perfect and that I don't need to do so much debugging. It's much faster to just type this for five seconds than having to spend time testing that. So, all right, so it looks like the AI has finished processing that prompt. So here it is what it says. I have updated your system prompts to include a new human handoff call transfer principle. And that should basically work. So let's go ahead and check out the prompt. Everything looks good. What else does it say? Here we go. It says something about human handoff call transfer. Your primary goal is to handle requests yourself. However, if a caller ex explicitly asks to speak to a human or presents a situation clearly outside your scope, you must transfer the call. That sounds pretty good. So we'll just go ahead and test that real quick. So copy, go over to Vappy, paste, publish. All right. So now what did we do? First of all, we went over to N8N. We added a node called the Twilio node that will allow us to send SMS confirmations to the client's phone number. After that, we went over to Vappy. We went down to the predefined functions, and then we entered in a forwarding phone number. After that, we went up to the system prompt, and then we updated the system prompt to basically tell the agent that it now has the ability to forward calls to a live human. All right. So all that there's left to do is to test it. And in order to do that, we need to go over to phone numbers. And we just need to make sure that this is properly set up. So scroll down to assistant and make sure that it's properly assigned to this phone number. Otherwise, when you call it, nothing's going to work. Okay. So once that's done, go ahead and save. And also go back to N8N and make sure that the workflow is set to active. Otherwise, it's not going to know how to set appointments. Okay. And so basically, the function that I'm trying to test today is the transfer call function. Um, I don't really care about booking the appointment because that's almost certainly going to work. So let's go ahead and call that phone number. Thank you for calling the Glow Clinic. This is Chloe. How may I help you today? To best assist you, could you let me know if you are a new or an existing patient? I need to speak to a human. Transferring the call now. All right, well, basically, I just called my other phone, and as you can see, it was able to transfer that call. So super simple stuff. Just takes, you know what, like five minutes to set that up. So again, extremely easy stuff. Um, now, let's see, what, what do we have next going on? So the next part is going to be client management, rescheduling, and cancellations. Now, it's going to be pretty complicated and pretty interesting, so you're going to want to stick around and make sure you watch that. So um, by the way, you can get all those files in my school community. Go ahead and click on YouTube. Click on the post and then go ahead and click on the files and just click download them to make sure you get those okay so that's it and i will see you in the next video